Hey y'all, iRich Sky here, and I've got my Mavic Mini on the landing pad. I already did a, uh, already performed a flight. Been testing my camera to make sure the autofocus. If if I come into the camera's field of view, and if I leave, does it refocus upon me? Not talking about the drone's camera, but my ground camera, and I should be perfectly well focused now. And that the the root cause of my original Mavic Mini field test videos from my primary camera went out of focus was that I had a field monitor and I'm intentionally not using the field monitor today, which means that I can't see if I'm correctly framed. But since I'm using 16 millimeter, which is wide, and then I've got some stuff on the ground so I can see where to put my feet, I should be pretty much well centered within the frame. Not centered, but well positioned, there you go. So without further ado, we're gonna get airborne. Uh, this test, we're gonna be experimenting with the Mavic Mini's intelligent flight modes. Again, I don't think it has as many intelligent flight modes as some of the other drones, at least currently, but it does have intelligent flight modes. So to access the intelligent flight modes, uh, what we're gonna first do is get airborne. So we're gonna hold our sticks down. Okay, the motors are running there. We're not recording with the drone's camera yet. And that's on purpose. Okay, so now we're gonna get to a safe and responsible altitude. And now we're gonna push the uh, Let's see, it's right above the record button. In my case, it says 2.7K because I'm recording in 2.7K. Right above the record button, and towards the bottom right, you'll see Quick Shot. So I'm going to select Quick Shot. And now, once I've selected Quick Shot, we're going to, we're going to have, a, we'll have a series of, of options here. So one of those options is Droney. So what we're going to demonstrate first is a Droney. So here we go. I'm going to select Droney. And then I'm gonna select, it says 80 feet, distance of 80 feet, that seems acceptable. I've got other options. I'm gonna select Droney, and then I'm gonna select Start, or Video. Oh wait, sorry, this is not too intuitive. I'm, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but does that mean I've gotta to go to 80 feet to start? Let's see. Let's see, the camera centers. Let's see. Okay, I think what I've got to do, I'm going to gimbal wheel down. Oh, there we go. Gimbal wheel down so I can see myself. I've got a little green plus sign over me. So I'm going to click that. And now, okay, now we've got the options. So obviously put yourself or whatever object in the camera's field of view and then select it. Now it says tap or drag over a subject on the screen and select as a target. So I did, I don't have to tap or drag because I'm already selected. It's, it's got a box around my profile. And now we're gonna do start to take the quick shot, which in this case is the drone. It's giving me a countdown, three, two, one. Then I expect this thing to go 80 feet. Okay, and it's got a percentage. Should I need to abort, if there's a tree or some sort of object enters the area, it's got a red X, which will allow me to abort. But I've got a percentage and this is, okay, now it says returning quick shot complete. So I should have a quick shot. And that quick shot, of course, was the droney. So now let's do some other quick shots after this returns here. So now we're gonna select the little thing, the little droney icon, and we're gonna select rocket. I'm gonna do 80 feet again. I'm gonna select myself, drag a box. Let's see, do I need to drag a box or am I already? Okay, I'm already boxed in. So I'm gonna click start. This is Rocket, which is another quick shot available through uh, for, for the Mavic Mini. And again, as, as new software versions come, become available, sometimes they may add additional quick shots, but I just want to show you at the time of filming this, which is November the 22nd, this is, uh, these are the quick shots that, that are available to demonstrate right now. Okay, so now it says returning. Um, Okay, so it's returning and it's finished. Now we're going to select the next one, which is a circle. So this will be the circle quick shot. Again, I'm selecting myself. I'm going to click start. It's doing the countdown. You know, I was framed in a box. And there are trees over there, so I'm going to make sure if it, if it starts to get close to those that I can hit abort. That's one thing I like about DJI. They're, 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 uh, 
focus upon safety because, see, traditionally, to make this a really cool effect, I wouldn't be spinning around. But since I'm testing this for the first time, I want to make sure I completely understand the operation of it. You know, obviously maintaining constant visual line of sight with the drone. So, you know, that, that's, uh, that's safe. Now there's one more quick shot. This quick shot is Helix, H-E-L-I-X. Going to select myself again. It's going to frame me. This is very intuitive. It was just slightly different. That's why I stumbled uh, the first few seconds that I was performing this. I'm doing start. It's doing the countdown from three to zero. And this is the Helix. So just a little bit different shape. Give it a cool effect. There are trees surrounding this huge field, but I'm out in the middle of the field, so or towards the middle of the field. Um, yep, yeah, so that's the helix effect. So it does this little doohickey. It's a little, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, intelligent flight mode. It does that and then it returns to its starting point. Very good experience. So, and just for fun, I'm testing my, let's see, I'm gonna bring this down so y'all can see how smoothly and precisely it lands. That just blows my mind. Something so small and so lightweight to be able to control it so well. Look at this. I mean, right there on the middle of the H, right on the middle of the H, just like a boss, landed right on the middle of the H. I mean, that is, for something so small and so lightweight, that is so precise. But that was my demonstration of intelligent flight modes. Curiously enough, this is my second field test video that I filmed today. I did the third uh, uh, Mavic Mini third flight video, and that, I ran that for quite a while. But even after that flight and this flight, my battery still has 48% remaining. Now I've got more batteries coming, but at this point in time, I've only got one battery. So I'm gonna maximize the, uh, the time in the field here and I'm gonna see, so we've done intelligent flight modes. Let me see what other kind of goodness I can, uh, excuse me. Hmm, I'm trying to think of some other cool things to demonstrate while we're out in the field. Well, I'm going to be posting videos, so subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy, and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. If you're looking for the Mavic Mini, any of the accessories, the cameras that I use, the camera that I'm using for this face on video segment, this awesome, what I feel is an awesome audio solution. How's the audio been? How's the, the video quality been for my primary camera throughout this? You know, if you're looking for that equipment, it's all linked within this video's description. I may sound like a hustler, but I'm an independent YouTube channel and that requires me to hustle. So with that being said, if you choose to support my channel, you can expand this video's description, click the links there, that helps me. Uh, you can choose to support me on Patreon. And in its most simplistic form, simply subscribe, like, share with others and help my channel to continue to grow because that's tremendous support. I wanna hit 100,000 subscribers as quickly as possible and that's just the start of the next wave of, uh, of uh, momentum. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.